Hi, today we want to share with you a new video from Audio Control. That's right, we're going to tell you about the LC2i. Stay tuned. So we have the LC2i, which can be described as a two-channel, high-performance, active line output converter. What I mean by active is that it uses power to become a line output converter. Okay. It's not a passive line output converter, which is what most of you buy online for about 15 bucks. They use caps or coils or resistors or whatever it is to choke the sound down and hopefully make it low enough to go into the amplifier. This isn't the case with this. With this particular device, it's designed to keep your signal as clean as possible. And it's capable of passing a frequency response of between 10 and 20,000 hertz. Wow. So it will not be the reason why your sound sucks. It's also capable of handling up to 400 watts of input okay. power. So if you're hooking it up to a factory sub amplifier, no problem. It'll eat it up like it's a sandwich. Um, it has the GTO signal sense turn on. Now what that's designed to do is once you've hooked up power on ground and you've hooked up your speaker input, it will generate its own remote turn on output to the amplifier. So you don't have to go hunting through the dash to find an accessory. Right. Okay. It also has a maximized distortion detector light. So it's designed, which is this guy right here, and it lights up yellow. And what it's designed to do is light up right before clipping. So uh, when you're tuning the system, you know, you're playing either your pink noise or your 100 hertz test tone or your 40 hertz, whatever you want to use. Uh, as you turn up the volume on here, you want to make sure that that light stays off. Now, once you're playing music, it's okay. It will come on and blink on and off. That's all right. It's just on the initial setup. Um, it also has an optional remote control for the subwoofer if your amplifier does not have one, uh, the ACR1. And of course, the thing that makes this the best is the AccuBase. And that's what we're gonna talk about today and why this is one of the best line output converters for subwoofer is AccuBase. AccuBase. Okay. What does AccuBase do? AccuBase is kind of like a uh, bass restoration EQ. Now, when you have a factory radio, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you'll notice when you're turning up the volume at a certain point, the subwoofer just drops out or doesn't get any louder. That's what I mean by dropping out. It's not that it goes away, it's just there's no more. But the mid and the treble and all the other speakers of the car continue to get louder. So you're like, hey, what the heck? And you think maybe it's just crappy speakers. Well, it is crappy speakers. Um, but what the manufacturer has done is because it has crappy speakers and it knows it can't produce the bass that they want at those volumes, they've put a form of active crossover in there that as the volume goes up, the bass doesn't get any louder. Well, that sucks if you're adding a subwoofer. Yes. Because you want the bass to go louder. So what AccuBase does is it's almost like a reverse bass boost EQ. And what you do is when you get, as you're tuning it, you don't need the RTA, you just need ears. And what you're doing is it, as you're turning the volume up, once you get to the point to where the sub drops off or doesn't get any louder, you stop. Then you work the AccuBase, there's two knobs, you work those two knobs till you hear the sub come back in, and then you keep turning up the volume on the radio, and what should happen is the AccuBase should bring it in line so that as you turn the volume up, the bass continues to get louder. Now, of course, we're gonna demo that for you, that's why we have our cool RTA, and that's why we have all this set up here, because otherwise we're just reading the instruction manual to you. And, you know, we're, we're pretty sure most of you out there can read, most. Okay, now the other unique feature in the LC2i is that it has, depending on how you're hooking it up, so if you're hooking it up to, let's say, a front or rear output, okay, it will give you the ability to give you a sub output as well as a standard uh, output as well, non-crossed over, non-EQ'd. So let's say you want to amp your front speakers and add a subwoofer. The LC2i is perfect for that. Now it's got a couple knobs on it. It's got the AccuBase volume control. It's got the, over here we have the main, which is the volume control output for this set of RCAs. We have bass, which is the volume control for this set of RCAs. And then over here, there's a little tiny set screw, and that is the AccuBase threshold. And that's where we're gonna be concentrating the video on is showing you how to set that up. Now, any questions? No, no. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. 
All right, let's get to the demo and we'll show you how it's done. Right now we have the AccuBase set up to our main output. This is showing what we got coming out of the head unit. We're running a factory head unit and we have a pink noise playing through it. So if we turn this dial here, which says main, we can increase the output voltage. Okay, we can take a look. As you can see over here on this side, this is where it's losing a little bit of that base. Okay, as we turn up and down the volume, okay, in some case, you know, as you can see right there, it dropped off more. All right, so maximized right here isn't lighting up. That means we, we've got, we're, we're good. We're in a good area. Um, so let's go ahead and unplug this. We'll plug it into the base. So we're plugged into the base. And now we can work the base volume here. Okay, so we can increase our volume. Now, the AccuBase is probably already engaged. So what you want to do is grab your little tiny screwdriver and you want to turn the AccuBase counterclockwise, which is all the way down. You want to set your AccuBase volume about halfway up. Okay, so then you're going to take your volume on and you're going to you know, start down and start turning it up until you see the spot where everything else is getting louder, but the sub isn't changing. So like right there, we have no, you know, everything else around it gets louder, but it pretty much stays right in that general area. All right, so now we can come over here, put a little set screwdriver in, turn up the AccuBase. Okay. As you can see, brought that up, turn it down a little bit. Now, the level control here will dictate how much influence it has. So, if we want to turn it down a little bit, we can. If we want to keep, if we want to go crazy, make it really boomy, we can do that as well. Okay, so we can turn that down. So, now we turn the radio down, we get base the whole way through it's not going to drop off see when we hit that spot boom 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 AccuBase boom brought it back up now the other cool thing about AccuBase is like in some cars you don't have this phenomenon believe it or not some radio manufacturers actually build quality products and you don't notice there, there is no dip in the subwoofer a lot of this happens when there is a factory subwoofer in the car that you know it's going to play all the way up so then you say well i've already got a factory sub why do i need accubase well good reason uh it's a factory eight inch woofer and you want to put in two twelves <laughs> okay good enough reason for me all right so what do i do at that point do i still need accubase yes at that point you can use accubase as a base eq okay now sometimes uh the amplifiers will have a base EQ built into them, so you're saying, oh, I don't, I've got a base EQ. Well, yeah, but that's a fixed point. It's usually at 45 hertz, and it's just a volume knob. Okay, so you don't get to pick the frequency. You don't really get much of anything. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This has eight and a half volts of output. You know, so it's a little bit better. So let me show you how to set that up. So what you want to do is you want to turn the AccuBase all the way down. You want to come over here to your set screw and you want to turn AccuBase clockwise all the way up. Okay, so what that does is that tells it that even at zero, kick on AccuBase. So then you start turning Accu the volume up here. All right, so we can turn up our radio, turn down our radio. See, we get a nice, big, strong bass response. All right, and we can keep turning that up. All right, and as we turn it up, See these lower frequencies over here, how loud they get. Whereas if we're not using AccuBase, we'll turn the AccuBase all the way down, it's very diminished. See, look at where that guy is. Nowhere. These nice taper off, kind of sucks. Turn the AccuBase back up, add the little gain to it, and boom, there we go. We've picked all those low frequencies back up. Now when we put our 12s and 15s in, they're going to hit. All right, so those are really the two functionalities of AccuBase. Which one do you need? Well, only your ears will tell you. Um, you know, if you just want to play it safe from the get-go and you figure, hey, you know what, I can't really tell if, if my car is, is losing volume or not, 
buy some Q-tips first. Second, start with the second scenario. Turn the AccuBase function all the way up. Start turning up the volume control. Eventually, once you're starting to, to listen to different types of music, you may notice where that dip is. Uh, in which case, you can then go back and set it up the other way. You may not have a dip. Dip. We dip. He dips. You dip. We dip. <laughs> crackers. Okay. Um, you got anything for him? Uh, you got everything. Cool. Now, like we said, you don't need an RTA to do this, but if you'd like one, this is the PPA3. You can order it on Amazon. Cool. It's, if you're going to do this for a living, it's a really nice thing to have. Or if you just want to be the ultimate guy on the street that says, I got all the tools, bitches. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, if you have any questions about this bad boy here, if we forgot to mention something, which is totally possible, ask in the comments and we'll get back to you. It's going to back to you. Yeah, whatever. Lay on them all the other yeah, stuff. Yeah, and you guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And if you like the video, subscribe. Thank you very much. Uh, hey, if you want to upgrade from the LC2i to something like the LC7i, we have three videos that are going to describe all the cool features about the LC7i. So please check those out too. And subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right. Whatever. Thanks, guys. As usual, have a great night, and we'll see you next time. Bye.